All right, I got this in the mail today, and I, I, I don't know what they are, and I didn't know where I got them from. I, they, they must have been something like on AliExpress or something that was so ridiculously cheap. I went ahead and bought some, <laughs> not knowing what I would do with them. So uh, I bought four of them, I guess, because I got four of them. Um, I built one. I'll show that to you later. But I. I sort of knew what it did, but I didn't know how to use it. So um, I took the uh, the little PC board and uh, I kind of drew how the traces were on the backside and put in the transistors and stuff and base emitter collector and um, try to figure out what the circuit was. So I, I, I've, I've redrawn it over here. So this is this is what you get in these packages. I don't know. I don't know how to... I don't know if they're like 20 cents or so. I have no idea. Um, anyway, it's this circuit. Um, it's uh, two NPN transistors, and uh, they're kind of like, kind of like a Darlington type of thing, uh, where one's going to drive the other. And um, you have a photo resistor. So these have a little photo resistor in them, and that photo resistor is in the lead of the base, right? So if there's no current flowing in the base, then this transistor will be off. This one will be on and you'll have a, a zero out here or, um, you know, it'll pull it to ground. And then if you do have light on the resistor, then you will have current flow and this one will turn on, which will turn this one off, and then this will go high. So the output here is just an open collector output. So if you want to, um, if you want to use this thing, just to put it on an oscilloscope, you could put a resistor here, and uh, you have a pull-up resistor, and then you can hook, hook your scope probe. So I've done that. I'm going to put a 10K, favorite resistor, um, a 10K there. And we'll try this thing out. All right. So um, it's such a simple thing, but you know, if you're new to electronics or you're new to analog electronics, this is actually a quite an interesting little circuit. We can take a look at uh, what is the current that's going in the base, and uh, what is the am current amplification through the system. Uh, do these values make sense? 100K, 1K, that's what they chose. Do those make sense? Um, we could look, take a look at the uh, amplification of using these transistors. Um, so let's go ahead and at least turn it on so we can, uh, we can watch this thing operate. So here's my little circuit over here. Like I said, you need a pull-up resistor to make it work. So I've made a little pull-up resistor here that I'm just going to... I'm just going to put on just like that. <laughs> it's kind of spring loaded, right? So it's gonna, but that's my little, my little 10 K resistor. So now, now we should be able to get some, uh, signal out of this thing. Uh, the next thing we need to do is to give it some power. So we'll, uh, the board is marked three volts, but the circuit doesn't really care. So we'll just put five volts into it. So I have uh, five volts here. We'll turn that on. So we have four milliamps drawing. <laughs> All right, so let's uh, go here. Sorry about the reflection. Let me move my scope a bit, see if that helps. Yeah, it's not bad. All right, so, uh, oh, there we go. So let's uh, zoom way, 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 way out. All right, so my circuit is down here. And that scopes over there. So if I put my hand over, over the photo sensor, the trace drops over, over there. And you see it, it started to kind of what looked like maybe an oscillation, right? Right there. Yeah, that's not an oscillation. That's actually the uh, lights flickering above, right? Uh, I have LED lighting in here, and the ballasts are set up. They flicker at 120 hertz. So if it's if it's off. It's ground. If it's on, it's high. If it's in between, then you can kind of see the uh, the lights flicker. So that's kind of fun too. There it goes, flickering. 
Let me, uh, let me zoom in on that for you so you can watch that. Oh, right there. That's my lights flickering. So it's fast enough to see the lights flickering. All right. So, um, yeah, let's talk about this little circuit. Um, why not? I think the first thing we need to know is something about the um, transistors and something about the photoresistor. So I looked up the transistors and they have a beta of about 100. Um, and that means that if you uh, put in one microamp on this side, you get 100 microamps out on that side. It does a, a gain of, a, of 100 in current, right? So you have to figure out, well, how much current would I need to make that 1K resistor go to ground. So you could say, well, uh, if it was ground, how much current there is, right? So you could say, okay, well, we have five volts and we have a, one, a 1K resistor. Well, that's 10 milliamps, okay? So if we want to pull this thing down to ground, we would have 10 milliamps flowing in here, okay? 10 milliamps. And then if we have a gain of 100, right, then we would need 100 microamps. This away, okay, does that make sense? This would be 0.1 uh, milliamps. So 0.1 milliamps times 100 is 10 milliamps. So we need 100 nano, uh, microamps going in there. And uh, if this is on all the way, does 100K give us, give us the right amount of current? So again, we have 5 and we have 100K. It's going to give us 5, let me put this in scientific notation. Oh, engineering. I'm sorry, scientific notation and engineering notation. I wanted engineering notation 3. There we go, 50, 50 microamps. So it's not exactly 100. Right? So it's about half of what we need. So our calculation probably is worst case. We probably don't need the full 10 milliamps to actually turn this transistor off to make this thing go to ground, right? So those are the calculations you do when you're an engineer. Um, figure out all worst cases. You know, will it work under worst case? Will it work? Uh, under typical and stuff and are these values are these values correct or not? Okay, but we do have 50 microamps at least 50 microamps and uh, Times a hundred will give us five mic five milliamps Okay, and if we have five milliamps across a 1k resistor Okay, so 1k resistor five milliamps, that's five volts. Did I calculate it right the first time? Maybe I didn't calculate it right the first time. I don't think I did. <laughs> five volts, 1,000, divide, yeah, five milliamps. <laughs> I didn't calculate it right the first time. How come you guys didn't correct me? You guys should be screaming into the camera, well, it's not 10 milliamps, it's five milliamps. So it was, it was calculated correctly. So yeah, we need five milliamps here and we need 50 milliamps there. So hats off to whoever designed this. Excellent. All right, let's take a look at this uh, component here because it's basically, it needs to be low ohms for this thing to work and high ohms for this thing to, to not work, right? <laughs> and so let's get one out and measure resistance. All right. It just dawned on me that uh, also you could take a look at it. Uh, the difference between 1K and 100K is 100 to 1. So yeah, okay. Let's see here. Okay, let's let's measure these. Um, let's measure these photoresistors. I believe they're made out of cadmium sulfide. If I remember right. You can check me on that. Um, and we can just put an ohm meter right on this thing and see what there is to see. Oops. Let's see here. All right, so I'm gonna make it dark. Make it really, really dark. I'll put it under the table here. It's measuring 1.5 mega ohms. 
So it's basically open circuit in the dark, 1.5 mega ohms. And if I bring it out here into the bright light, it is 3K. So we actually have 103K of uh, 24K, 3K. 50k, 3k. So yeah, so um, these v these things come in different uh, these different values. So if you go to buy, I, I had to do this once. I forget what I was building. Um, you can get photoresistors in all kinds of different resistances and different operating uh, environments and stuff. So. <clears throat> For something simple like this that probably any old thing will do but you can get specific low ohm ones and high ohm ones and you can you can get a whole bunch of different different varieties if you didn't know that all right well that's just a quick video for the day um we have current going through the base of this transistor turns this one on current going through this one turns this one on and then this transistor has the ability to turn it off, right? Normally this is on all the time, but if you pull this one down, it turns this guy off. And then it's up to you to do what you want with the output. I just put a 10K here resistor here so we can see a voltage change, but you could put a, you could put in a resistor in an LED over here. You could turn an LED on, or you could run this into a microprocessor and have this uh, as a photo sensor. Um, lots of things you could do with this circuit.